what's going on guys welcome back to another video thank you guys for tuning in in advance um you guys probably could tell by the title of the thumbnail we are working on the 850 today um this video is sponsored by mick tuning um I'll show you guys they sent us out sweet rock light kit guys um eight piece you can see right here it's the packaging eight piece rock light kit that we're going to put on the uh the outlander today um show you guys everything came sent us a nice decal i don't know where i'm gonna put that might put on a toolbox or something but um basically this is like one of their top of the line kits um <clears throat> eight piece like i said you can see how everything comes packaged in its own little slot nice and neat the wiring was a little neater before i you know tore into the box but um it comes with you know standard instructions um little rubber isolator mounts um hardware and you know basically regular light um rock light kit but what i like about mctuning's kit is everything comes already pre-fused like this and this waterproof um control box that their lights come with um not a lot of rock light kits so with the box like that a lot of them say they're 100 percent waterproof but i've had experiences with some other like the cheaper brand like amazon ebay rock lights rgb rock lights that you know come with a little control box that says it's waterproof um and it always never ends up being enough wiring for you to actually put it like inside of the truck or inside of somewhere that's actually not going to get wet um so i don't trust those at all but seeing this one from it, this looks 100% waterproof and sealed, guys. Um, you can see this. It's all in one. There's nothing like, nothing. Everything has like a seal on the end of it. So there's no water that can get into it. So that's going to be a plus putting this on this ATV because, you know, we're going to send it. It's going to get muddy. Um, washing it down, it's going to be constantly getting wet and, uh, you know, everything so what we're going to do is try to mount that as high as possible somewhere up here around the, the dash um and get that mounted up as high as possible so even though it's being waterproof we're still helping it out by trying to keep it as dry as possible um now the only thing about this eight piece kit is that it's eight pieces i'm not 100 percent sure how i'm going to mount all eight um because the wiring with the eight piece kit is a lot of wiring and being on a quad, you don't have a lot of space to actually um, hide the wire. So that's gonna be the challenge with this project. But I think we got um, a solution. It's gonna work pretty good. Um, I'm thinking one under each wheel. I'm gonna put one up here, up under here, so it shines down over the radiator, give it some color there. I might run one behind the grill, so you have some light backlighting there. So that's six. And uh, so we need either don't run the last two or we figure out where to put the last two. And I'm kind of thinking somewhere in the middle, in the back, shooting down. Um, so they'll come like the entire bike will be lit. Um, and these being, these are actually their C1 rock light kit. And what that means is it's one big LED. You can see that big chip in there. One big LED instead of like your three or your four LED when you're trying to get RGBW. Um, these are RGBW, but with one large chip, which is super, super bright. Um, I can't wait to actually get these powered up and actually see them. Um, but sweet kit, guys. The pictures and stuff I've seen of this kit, is they're like, they're nice. Um, and I'm not, I'm normally not a person that like, likes, you know, likes to go with RGBW lights. Um, I've kind of grown up out of that phase. Um, I'm more of a just white, um, one solid color and just keep it simple and clean. But being this on the quad, we're gonna be doing a lot of night rides and stuff. So I wanted to be lit. Uh, so I think this kid's gonna be perfect for this quad and I can't appreciate Mick tuning enough for sending this out. So we're gonna go ahead and get this bike torn down. I know I'm probably gonna have to take that rear rack off so I can run the wires neatly like I want to and maybe a few little things in the front um, so we can mount that control box up high. But uh, other than that, it should be a straightforward uh, installation. Fingers crossed, I don't want to jinx myself, but 
Um, yeah, like I said, shout out to Mick Tuning for sending us this kit out 100% free. This video is sponsored by them. Um, I really appreciate it. And uh, so we're going to uh, get this stuff installed, guys, and catch up with you guys along the way and when we finish. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so we've been uh, chugging away, taking a little longer than expected, but we just about got every single one of the rock lights installed. We still have three left. I think I'm gonna end up running six instead of all eight. So right now we got one under each fender. Um, got one on the radiator, that's five. And then I think I'm gonna put, I'm gonna try to figure out how I can mount one under, under here to shine down out the grill. So, show you guys how I mounted them. Um, there's really no easy way to mount these without drilling holes through your plastics, which a lot of people do, which I did not want to do. So, being that can m has these uh, fender flares on there, it has a gap between the fender flare and the actual plastic under the bottom. So, we use that to our advantage and actually mounted them to the side right here, drilled a few holes, put the screws through, and they actually stick out a little bit right here. So that way we're not drilling holes through our plastics and you're seeing the holes through here. Um, that way the light also shines down on pretty much everything. You see that one right there? Um, the light's actually gonna shine towards the, the ATV instead of out or down. I'm gonna shine that way, lighten up pretty much everything. Um, so we mounted all four of the ones under the fender the same. You can see that right there. Excuse the different screws. Um, had to make it work with what I had, so it doesn't look bad. Um, I still gotta go back and tidy up some of the wires. You can see this one's hanging right here. Zip tie some of the wires. We got this one coming around like that running down the side. Um, I got everything fit fitted up in here. Luckily, on the Outlander, you got this big gap right here. Another, just nothing in there. So that works out perfect. I was able to coil the wires up all together, zip tie them, and stuck them all up in here. This is our leads, positive ground. The control box, I don't know if you guys are able to see it, is right here. I'm gonna uh, zip tie that up to that like that. And that'll hold there. Um, I will be running like power from, from the back to the front of the ATV. And what I mean by that is I'm gonna run a negative and a positive from here all the way up here. And you guys can see this little box right here. Being that we plan on running a, a lot of accessories, I don't wanna have to run a power and ground, power and ground, power and ground from front to back every time I, uh, you know, we add something. So I'm gonna run positive ground from the back up to the front. I'm gonna have this box right here. You gotta see if I get it apart. But I can't get it apart with one hand, but basically I'm gonna mount this in here somehow. Nice and neat. Like that, run our leads to it. And then like the light bar, the uh, sound bar, um, the rock lights, uh, whatever else we add to the front of the quad, 
we won't have to run positive and negative, um, positive and negative all the way to the back. We could just run them right here. They're fused right here. Um, that'll make it super, super simple and uh, save us a lot of time. And, you know, it won't look as cluttery or as junky on the quad. So that's my next little install. I probably won't make a video of that. It's real simple. Just run this from back there to up here and call it a day. But that's basically where rock lights are going to plug into that box right there. And that's how we're going to get power to that and everything else we put on the front of the quad. So um, let me finish wrapping this up and then I'm going to get back with you guys uh, once I get everything buttoned back up and hopefully we can get some shots of the quad at night. All right, guys, so it is a few days later. We finally got the uh, rock lights completely installed, everything tidied up and in place like it should. Um, I haven't gotten any clips or videos of the bike at night, so that's what I'm about to do. But before I do that, you guys, show you guys how everything looks. It's mounted one more time. Like I said, we mounted the rock light to the actual side of the fender flare here on each fender well. We got one up top right here. You can see up under there. It looks a lot better at night. It actually shines down over the whole entire radiator. We got one up under there. Here. Excuse the bike, it does a little dirty right now. I haven't really washed it since I got it. But, uh, and one more under here. So right now we're running five. I'm still trying to figure out where I want to put six, seven, and eight. Um, for sure, I'm gonna run six. I'm not sure about seven and eight, but like I said, it turned out good. Looks really good, and uh, yeah, let me show you guys some B-roll of it at night, and uh, get you guys final opinion on the McTuning C1 rock lights. So here we go.